sit back, relax, kick up your feet, yo. Whoa, it's the poor man's cooking show. Sit back, relax, kick up your feet, yo. You might learn a little something, a little teeny tiny different. Ah, it's the poor man's cooking show. Yo, yo, the poor man's cooking show. Yo! 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 Hey! We in this mother effer! And I'm... I'm trying to figure out... Hold on. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. With my camera. Oh. Damn it. Anyway. Episode something. Three. I think. Yeah. Episode three. I got my wife beater on. I got my wife beater on. Anyway, today we're gonna make some spaghetti, some really quick spaghetti. I'm gonna make it quick, I'm gonna make it fast. I'm gonna cook some shit. I'm sorry, I'm gonna cook stuff. Anyway, I've cheated again. I got everything parlayed out. I got the water boiling, okay? Cause you gotta boil water for the noodles. You gotta boil water for the noodles. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange the camera. Welcome to the new episode of my show. I'm gonna cook some stuff. As usual, it's gonna be spaghetti. I don't have all the ingredients that I want and or need. Not really need, just and or want. I don't have them all, but we're still gonna make some bomb ass muschetti. That's how I say it, say it with me. Muschetti. Muschetti or uh, Sketti or Buschetti, however you say it, we're gonna cook that shit. I'm gonna re-raise the camera. It's gonna be quick. It's gonna be quick this time. It's gonna be quicker. No more 30 minute BS, mother ever. Watch this, I'm gonna reach around the camera, turn it off, then when I come back, you're gonna have a great view of what I'm cooking, baby. You can see the steam rolling right now. You can see that steam rolling. The, the boiling of waterness is going down. Okay. I love you all. All right, fools. It's going to be really, really quick. I told you. I'm going to turn my fan on. Might be a little loud, but you can probably still hear me. I got the water boiling. Oh, I get the water boiling. I got the water boiling. Boiling, 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 boiling. All right, anyway. I got some meat. Of course, I got some meat, random meat. Now I told you guys in the beginning, even though this is the poor man's cooking show, you don't you don't uh, slack on your meat. You know what I'm saying? You don't buy cheap meat. You don't buy cheap meat, and you don't buy cheap macaroni. All right. So anyway, meat's here. You guys can't probably see that. Anyway, meat's here. I got some mushrooms, yo. Get some mushroom. And I got, of course, the world famous. Let me find this shit. Right here. Essential. Foodland, fools. Essential everyday trademark. It's so cheap and it tastes exactly like the original. It tastes like the original. No, it tastes like the original stuff. All right. We're gonna cook some damn hamburger right here. Watch this. Open this hamburger up. We're gonna cook this. Cook this like, wow. I'm using about two pounds. I mean, it depends on your family size. Like if you got 14 kids or some shit, you might wanna buy a family pack. But this evening, um, my helper chef awesomeness is not here. She's staying with her grandmother. So we're just gonna cook for me, which would be like a pound, pound and a half. And get my magic spatula. We'll turn this on about oh six or so. We'll say six. We're gonna leave that, we're gonna chop it up, you know what I mean? Chop that meat up into little itty bitty browns. I don't know what browns it is, but it's little itty bitty round rounds of stuff. It's just straight up beef. I know I told you guys in the beginning I don't like hamburger, but when you're cooking buschetti, then 
You need to cook that stuff. You need to cook it. You need to cook the good shit. All right, I don't know why this fanny works. Anyway, a whole bunch of browning going on. Look at that, chopping it up. Chopping it up. It's already been for the, uh, through the blender, but now it's going through the Leo. Uh, now it's going through the Chef Bomb Day blender, babe. That par witch. It looks like it's good to go. You can turn it a little high just until it starts frying. Until it starts going, start sizzling and shit. You know what I mean? So, of course, I'm gonna dominate you guys right now with a special ingredient that I use with my buschetti, and it is Worcestershire sauce. Kroger brand, bitch. <laughs> Here we go. Put some Worcestershire in it. Just a little bit. Actually, I use a whole lot because it's a lot of meat. It's like two pounds. Anyway, put that back. And of course, the almighty mega effing. Pepper, yeah! Pepper! I can't get the sun, bitch. Oh, there we go. Pepper that shit like you ain't pepper nothing ever before. There you go. Bam! Okay, you mix that shit up. Put that on high until it starts brewing. Now, see, there's one key ingredient that I forgot about uh, purchasing when I went to the store the other day for this meal in specific because I'm trying to get organized, you know what I mean? trying to get organized to where everything that I cook is already outlined instead of the first episode. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Pepperoni, okay? Listen to what I tell you. When you make spaghetti and or lasagna, you go to the store, okay? You go to the store and you get those little teeny, teeny tiny, Little teeny tiny pepperonis. It don't make it don't make a shit. God, it's hot in here today. It don't make a shit any kind of brand that you get. You just get the any teeny eensy weensy little red dot pepperonis. I know you guys and gals have seen them, especially single mothers. You guys have seen those little pepperonis. Buy those pepperonis. Put it in with the mushrooms and the meat, at which I'm about to show you right now, and cook that stuff. You know what I mean? So you want, what you want to do is you want to brown the uh, you want to brown the meat about halfway, okay? It don't take five to ten minutes to to uh, boil your noodles. So with the meat though, if you're going to use pepperoni and other necessities, always brown your meat about halfway through, okay? Brown it about halfway through. So we're going to turn this on low. We're going to kick it back to six like I had originally planned. Okay, we're gonna let this stuff cook just a little bit. I got the meat browning, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and some black pepper, that's straight up, that's it, that's all you need. You don't need no salt, you don't need no other bullshit, you don't need a meat tenderizer, you don't need no bullshit. You need meat, you need pepper, Worcestershire sauce, and some mushrooms. Now once the meat browns just a little bit, that's when I'm gonna put in the mushrooms, okay? We're gonna go to a commercial break, we're gonna go to a commercial break, and we'll be back soon. And I really want to thank all you guys for watching this, even though it's like stupid, and I just cook stuff. I need to shave again, huh? I need to. Oh, it's this side. I need to shave again. All right, we're gonna let this stuff cook for probably five, maybe eight minutes. Then we'll be back. Until then, watch this. All right, fools, we are back. Check it out. The water's boiling. The meat's been cooking for about half of the time, just like I told you when I left. All right, so here's what's going down. We got some random noodles. We got those thin noodles, okay? <clears throat> we got these thin-ass noodles so that they won't, uh, they won't swell up on you when you try to cook them, bitches. They're already broken in half. Anytime I get a package of noodles, I break them in half, you know? All right, that should be good just for my meal, you know what I mean? And then, the good thing about spaghetti is that, like, when you make it, when you make enough sauce, you don't have to cook all your noodles and then, you know, waste it. You just cook what noodles you need for the time being. 
So anyway, these are the noodles. I'm gonna throw them in. Woo! Hot, hot, hot. Get just a few more, because I'm hungry today. <laughs> All right. Oh, there we go. Noodles are boiling. Get these mofos out of the way. Put this plastic piece over it because my lid's cracked. You know what I mean? Lid's cracked. I don't let no moisture and air and all that stuff get out. Anyway, all right, mushrooms. We got a little thing of mushrooms. I'm gonna let you guys choose what kind of mushrooms you wanna use. Me, I use Jolly Green Giant, of course. I know this is the poor man's cooking show, but anytime you got an, an opportunity to get good meat, get good meat or get anything good. All right, here's some mushrooms. We're gonna throw them in the spaghetti sauce. Let them bitches fry up just a little bit. You know what I mean? That's all of them. Hell with it. All right. Set them to the side. Okay, and we'll mix these up, man. Mix this stuff up. Oh, and, and the, uh, the flavor. The flavor of sauce that I get, everybody's different. You know what I mean? That's why when I cook stuff, if you got an idea that you can better my stuff that I cook, then go for it. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit, down to about six. If you got a better idea to where you think you can like make your stuff better than mine, not necessarily better, but better for you and your family or whoever the hell you're cooking for, then you do that. But as for me, I done showed you once, it is the essential everyday trademark mushroom flavor. I love mushrooms, okay? I love mushrooms. You don't pour the pot, uh, pour the pot, pour the sauce in until it lasts. All right, we let this stuff cook a little bit more. Let it cook, let it cook. Oh, lost one. Yes, I'm gonna throw it back in there. Man. All right, we got the meat and mushrooms cooking. Um, also, on to, like this is when you would add the pepperoni also. Me, I would add pepperoni and probably some, uh, not jalapeno, what's that shit? Uh, the Tabasco, the, the little Tabasco peppers. You can buy them at Kroger. The actual Tabasco pepper, you cut them up in slices, put that shit in here, opens up your sinuses amazingly. You know what I mean? So, anyway, I'm going to let this cook just a little bit longer. And once everything's done, then that's pretty much it. Let this cook. I'm gonna give it, let's see, it is Saturday, 8.55. I'm gonna let this cook to about, I don't know, 9.05, or until it starts sizzling, really. You gotta watch it, you really gotta watch the getting stuff, okay? So, time to go to another break, punk. Oh shit, my phone's ringing. Hold on. Hold on, my phone's ringing. Oh, it's my kid. Hello. 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 Okay, no one's talking. Never mind. Oh, it's still ringing. What is up with these phones, man? We'll answer it again. Hello. Hey. What are you doing? I ain't doing nothing, what are you doing? Cool. Did you have a good day? Sweet. Alright fools, we are back. Can you guys still see that stuff? Let me scoot it up a little bit. Alright, everything's almost done, yo. No, Daisy, get out. Out. All right, everything's almost done. Uh, the meat is actually done cooking right now. The noodles are almost on the on the verge of being ready to eat. And you guys know how you check spaghetti noodles, right? <laughs> you don't know how to spaghetti noodles. All right, we got this strainer right here. We're gonna strain this meat out real quick, make some sauce. Look at that. Look at that stuff. Just meat and mushrooms, Joe. That's all there is to it. Meat and mushrooms. That's all you need. 
All right, you put all that in there, strain all the grease off of it, you know what I mean? You don't want a bunch of grease in your stuff. Jeez. Take this little paper towel thing. Wipe all the grease out. Wipe all the grease out. And then you pour, you pour the sauce in there. Turn that shit down on low. Pour the sauce down there. You start off with one can. Once again, essential everyday trademark mushroom flavored sauce. Oh my god, it smells exactly like ragu. You believe that? All right. Oh, did you hear it? Put just a smidge of water. Just a smidge, you know what I mean? Just like a squirt, like a like a semen squirt or something. Let me mix that up real good. Oh my god, yeah. Pour that in there. Okay. Get that crap out of the way. Strain the meat. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It even smells amazing. And yes, I use Worcestershire. That's all the meat right there. You just pour it into the sauce, baby. Now the noodles are just about done. So you want to turn them off. At this point, everything's pretty much done. You know what I'm saying? Press the water through the strainer. Get you all know, that crap out. All right. All right. Take these noodles. Woo! Handles hot, baby. Like a hot potato. Yeah. Okay. Put that in there. Bam! Noodles are done. Turn that shit off. Make sure you mix this up really good and make sure you've got enough sauce for your meat. All right, if you need to add more sauce, you need to add more sauce. It's common sense, people. It's not effing rocket science. It's not like you're working on someone's brain. Make sure you got enough sauce to equal out with the meat, all right? Look at that, just mix that up real good. Just about done while the noodles are cooling down. Look at that. Man, I'm so pumped to eat it, I made it. What the hell is that? It's like my cat's getting tired, hold on. What are you doing, dude? Go on outside if you want to act like that. Jeez. I love you, though. Stupid cat. I'm sorry, not stupid cat. Silly cat. She ain't that stupid. All right, now the key ingredient with this sauce is that for me, I'm going to whip this out on you right quick, guys, before it's done. Just leave it on about two or three or four or whatever you prefer. You can get some cheese. All right. Hold on. And that's a nice clean drink. <laughs> All right. Key ingredient for sauce. Bow. Cheese. I got cheese, people. I went to the store and got some cheese, baby. Yeah. I get the triple cheddar. Triple cheddar cheese. It don't matter what brand. As long as that stuff melts, then you sprinkle it all over the top of it, okay? Sprinkle, baby, sprinkle, yeah. It's probably the fastest meal I've ever made in my life. But it's also one of the greatest. Like I said, though, I'm pretty depressed. Spread this cheese out a little bit, baby. Like I said, I'm pretty depressed. But again, uh, I didn't get any pepperoni. All right, pepperoni is the key for this, man. It makes it so much better. Sometimes I even, hold on, let me talk to you real quick. I don't want to reuse the camera and stop and all that. Sometimes I even, um, I even use, uh, I just went blank. Damn it. What the hell was that? Sauce. Oh, whatever. Whatever. The cheese is up on here. That's really all you need. You need some pepper. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Sometimes, even with my spaghetti sauce, and it, it's the same thing that I use for, um, for like, uh, vegetable soup. You use chicken, man. I ain't got time for all that, though, right now. You know what I'm saying? So, you use chicken, and you take 
one chicken breast, fry it up, boil it, what, however you want to eat it, and then you cut up in sections and put it in with your meat and sauce. And it really, honest to God, is amazing. All right, anyway, everything's done. The sauce is done. Everything's done. Now, I'm gonna rearrange the camera down to here to where you guys can see me like do it all up. Until then, we'll take another break. Ow. Man, the stove's hot. Don't touch the stove while it's hot. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, we're back for the final. For the final, let me get this shit out of the way. Anyway, check this out. It's a cupcake plate. Ha ha ha. Anyway, I told you guys this was going to be a fast meal. Anyway. Sauce is still boiling. Alright. You go over here, get whatever you can, scoop some of these noodles out. And don't forget, like I said, these are, these are thin noodles. These are the thin noodles, so they don't take as long to cook. You know what I mean? This scooper sucks dick. Hold on. better off with a fork. Alright, get a fork. Roll that shit up. Just put it on your plate, baby. Just a little bit. You don't ever, like, a lot of people mix their shit up. You know what I mean? A lot of people take their spaghetti noodles and mix it up with the sauce. Me, I don't do that because initially it off. Initially, it takes more sauce than normal to mix with the noodles. That's why the, if you look at any Italian recipe or whatnot, they will tell you straight up, don't be mixing our noodles with us with the damn sauce, baby. It's, a, it's blasphemy. It's what it's what it is. Alright? Shit off. Alright, so I got a little bit more noodles left. Alright. Here's my plate of noodles. Now sauce is done. It's been on low simmer for a while. You get a little bit of that. A lot of meat, man. I like a lot of meat. No homo. Meat and cheese, you know what I mean? Look at that. Oh my god. It's freaking amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. It's freaking amazing. Now you put a little bit more sauce than noodles, of course, because you're going to mix all that stuff up. But look at that sauce, man. Look at that. Meat, mushrooms, cheese. And sauce, man. You just mix all this stuff up. Pepperoni. Don't. I'm serious with this, guys. Don't forget the pepperoni. If you get a chance to make it with pepperoni, make it with pepperoni. Seriously. Cheese. Oh, I was going to make some cheese toast, but I don't have time. Because I'm trying to shorten this stuff up. You guys can't see me there, but you can hear me. Um, I was going to make some cheese toast. So, what I'm going to do as the poor man's cooking show is that I'm going to take some regular Heiner's uh, classic bread I'm going to put it in this moose spaghetti. We'll put it in a toaster. We'll put some butter on it. Then we'll sprinkle some cheese on it. It doesn't take that long to do. It takes like four minutes, but you guys ain't going to sit through that because I'm really trying to shorten these broadcasts up. So anyway, cheese toast. Random cheese toast. Look at there. Spaghetti, baby. Yeah, we'll make some cheese toast real quick. We'll be back and I'm going to let you watch me eat this stuff. You know why? Because I just cook stuff and I'm about to eat this stuff. <sighs> I hope this is close enough for you. Watch. Oh. Oh. It really is the best shit you'll ever eat in your life. I ain't even cutting to end right now. I'm gonna take another bite just because it's so damn good. I ain't bullshitting you. I ain't trying to get more views. It's so good. Watch. Mmm. Oh. I'll take a bite of this toast, baby. This random toast. Mmm. So, enjoy that shit. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Actually, uh, one day this week I'll have a uh, I'll have a random video for a chance to people to like win something because you guys are really like watching it and it's taking off. So, mm. 
pepperoni. Don't forget the pepperoni, okay? Stay tuned. There'll be a random video here very, very soon. You guys are going to get a chance to win stuff. I love you all for watching, friends. I love my spaghetti more, though. Yo, yo. The Poor Man's Cooking Show.